It's a cold evening outside of Dr. Samuel A. Mudd Elementary School, but the mood inside of the school is warm and festive. Families gathered for a sensational evening of science. Students are learning about their senses at four stations where they get to touch, taste, listen, and smell. Many parents, like Missy Kidwell, are having fun. It's not only fun, but it's also educational because a lot of these kinds of activities, I wouldn't be able to get him engaged at home like I would here because he sees it's just like being in the classroom he sees other kids doing it he also loves when he comes here he sees his friends you may be wondering why a parent from Eva Turner Elementary School is attending an event at Dr. Mudd it is because the sensational night of science is an event sponsored by the Judy Centers of Charles County Public Schools we are not really a center, like you would come into the building and you'd have a classroom with the Judy Center. It's really, it's a program. We work with students from birth and their families through five years old that are at one of our three Title I schools, Barnhart, Dr. Mudd, or Eva Turner. And we try to make sure that they have whatever they need. The Judy Centers have been a part of Charles County Public Schools since 2000 and are a grant-sponsored program through the Maryland State Department of Education. The program is named after the late Judith Hoyer, a well-known proponent of early childhood education and wife of Congressman Steny Hoyer. The sole purpose of the Judy Centers is to have children ready to learn once they reach the age of five. It's a resource many parents are grateful to have. I find them very helpful. I actually found out about Judy Center through Child Finders. And once we started going to the play groups, I started to notice um, Santana's social skills started to increase, and it was good for him. A flyer, I don't know where it was at, just set up about an activity for families in the area, different things to go to. I think it was a Halloween event that we went to the first time. My son had a wonderful time. It was a free event, and as you know, everything is so expensive nowadays. Anything free is great, and he, he really enjoyed it. Many of the events hosted by the Judy Centers promote family involvement through activities that combine fun and learning, just like the one at Dr. Mudd. Many events promote literacy, like this one at C. Paul Barnhart Elementary School. There were three stations based on the popular children's book series, Pete the Cat. What we're hoping is that they understand that parents are the first teacher of their children. And maybe through these engagement activities, we're hoping that they will be able to understand that some of the techniques that we're using allow them to teach at home. I had actually never read any Pete the Cat books myself, so I got them some for Christmas. And the Pete the Cat was um, a great story because it's, it's got the small words, which is, he, which is what he's working on in school. The Judy Centers offers a host of services for families. They range from finding daycare and play groups to dental services and vision and hearing screenings. Judy Center staff can also help parents find professionals for students who may have specialized needs. No request is too big or too small. My son, he's got some fine motor skill issues. So I was talking with Mr. Dennis and he gave me some numbers to call. When you ask a question, if they don't have that answer right away, they will find it. He's my one and only, so I don't know what to expect. So I really, really rely on everybody, and they're so great. Even if I send a message and just say, hey, I just had a concern, you know, is this normal, is this not normal? And they'll be like, oh yeah, he's totally fine. They nibble and they munch with a chew, chomp, crunch. The Judy Centers also partners with various organizations and businesses in Charles County. Our cameras were at Books A Million in Waldorf during the Judy Center's story time. The Judy Centers also partners with Charles County agencies such as the Department of Health, the Department of Community Services, the Charles County Library, and Lifestyles. These partnerships are a vital part to the Judy Center's mission. Through the Judy Center, I have a direct connection to these agencies and they are there willing and able to help. That's really what Judith Hoyer's vision was. It was that families of Title I students would be able to come to one location and get whatever they needed. The success of the Judy Centers in Charles County Public Schools has helped spur its growth. The school system will add a fourth Judy Center at J.P. Ryan Elementary School at the start of the 2015-16 school year. It will help prepare a new population of students to learn and give more families the chance to have evenings of learning and laughter. Just ask these parents. I do appreciate the events that they hold because I feel like I get to spend 
that one-on-one -on -one quality time with him and it gives us something to do yeah. and to interact with the school as well. I've only been here six years, so I'm still kind of learning where everything is at. So to find the resources and just talking to them has given me so many more resources and avenues to, to go through. They really seem to be in tuned, I guess, is the best term. Mm -hmm. they, they know what the kids need. It's like perfect example tonight. And that's really important too because I want him to be socially and develop, you know, develop me where he needs to be. And I totally feel that the Judy Center and his school have just allowed that to happen. I love it. I absolutely love it. Bye, man. Bye, bye. That's on you, Bye, bye. Daddy, I have